Okay, in this tutorial cover um, program design, beginning with a um, uh, solution algorithm using pseudocode, then flowchart, then a simple uh, demonstration using Java programming language. So program design, um, we are looking at three different components. Uh, input, then uh, process, and then output. So think about um, you are using calculator. So if you add three numbers, let's say uh, 10, 20, sorry, you can press three inputs with the uh, electronic calculator. Then you may use uh, operator, like a plus symbol. Then you may press equal sign to see output. So we are looking at the example here now. So we have a three given inputs, 10, 20, sorry. The process we are using uh, operator between operand, 10, 20, and then between 20 to 30. And then we are using equal signs to to say that um, 10 plus 20 plus 30 uh, output shows up as 60 or result of operations show up as a 60. Um, okay, now just think about it. So we have uh, three numbers and then 10, 20, sorry. Then we use operator. The answer is 60. Computers you often use um, locations, or what we call as memory locations. Uh, we can declare or we can report the memory location using uh, variables like A or B or C. And then each variable we can allocate a number. For example, A equal to 10 it means A reports to no, number 10, B reports, reports to number 20, C reports to number 30. And once we have uh, that memory location, we can use operator A plus B plus C. Then again, output is reports to uh, 60. Sometimes we can use uh, another variable to get the answer say uh, sum equal to a plus b plus c then instead of 60 we can use the variable name sum so if you print sum it will give you answer 60 which is exactly the same so if you look at your right hand side most more likely computer program then uh, left hand side it seems very straightforward but main idea is if you have a problem statements like add three numbers, you should be able to identify what are the inputs and what's going to be output so that you may be able to get process. So let me sum summarize a few things here. Operator, addition, subtraction, uh, the third one is division, last one is uh, multiplication. Um, my main idea is look at your keyboard, okay? We are using a plus, minus, divisions, and then multiplication on your number key. We also have uh, operands between operator, something like uh, we can use actual numbers, or we can use symbols, or I call it A, B, C, uh, locate to reports to memory locations. We call it as a variable. We can use ABC or we can use more meaningful name, like a number for the first input. I may say number underscore one.
So number underscore one, then second number or second input, I may say on number underscore two, twenty. Number underscore three equal to thirty. Then we say sum equal to number one plus number two plus number three. Again, our main idea is you should be able to identify three inputs. You can um, name it whichever you want. Usually, main idea is uh, try to use something more meaningful, like a number one, number two, number three. We can reproduce the three numbers. Next topic is pseudocode. This is one of the techniques to uh, to present. Um, solution algorithms using simple English sentence like Okay, so let me explain what is um, algorithm here. Again, the algorithm is um, steps that represent or steps we can describe uh, as a set of instructions that can be uh, performed to solve the problem. So in uh, in our case, as three numbers, there might be three steps at least. So something to do with input, then uh, process, then output. So let me try to explain uh, instructions to be performed. In, uh, in certain order, okay? usually in a sequential order so and there might be uh, some repetition as well and sometimes we have to go through some conditions let me just uh, simplify here so what I'm going to do is and uh, let me use the same problem statement and then present the solution algorithm using pseudocode So that uh, this pseudocode can be uh, translated into any specific computer programming language. You can consider it as a uh, general um, computer program that can be uh, used for any specific programming language. Okay, and I will name the program as uh, as three numbers. I will use underscore instead of space for this program name. For algorithms, I will uh, focus on three components: input as a lead number one. Two, three, or you can say uh, lead three numbers. I prefer to say number one, two, three. Uh, if it's possible, we should be able to specify instead of using general sentences. So I will use a specific sentence here. For input, say some equal to number one plus number two plus number three. Or obviously, you can say uh, calculate sum, which is not very specific, so I prefer to do this way. The last one is print sum for uh, output. Then I like to say end or end of the program.
Okay, next up I'm, I'm going to cover flowcharts. There's no other techniques to present a solution algorithm visually. I'm going to use a program called DIA, which is open source, for um, drawing uh, diagrams. So this is how it looks like, okay? So I'm going to present a um, solution algorithm visually this time. Okay, uh, let me just write it down what it is. It's a form of visual representation of uh, the solution algorithm. Okay, I think that was typo, okay. Again, uh, this is a visual representation, okay? There are certain symbols, you should get familiar with it. Uh, again, uh, let me just show you how to download. Okay, you can go to About, and then you can click here. It's a DR 0.97.2, that's the newest version. Okay, uh, I'm using Windows 10, so I'm going to use Windows version. I will click Window. It's a quite small program, okay? Free download, 20 megabytes. Straightforward, uh, download it, and uh, double click. Follow the instruction, uh, straightforward installation anyway. I have already installed it, so I will skip through our installation process. So there are a few things you need to know. Okay, The first thing you need to know is terminal interrupt, which is what I call as a start and then end. You just present the start and end, and then input, process, and output. Again, now we are going to focus on very basics. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop another one, uh, and as you can see, we have a program called uh, add three numbers. We just indicate it, uh, that's the beginning, and this is the end. And uh, I'm going to focus on three components, again, input. Then, uh, Telling me that A equal to 10, B equal to 20, and then sorry. So we are going to use input and output. It uses same symbol, or we can represent same with the same symbol. So um, that's the output. So I'm going to use the same symbol again. One is one for input. Usually idea is uh, top to bottom. Okay, that's the process, A plus B plus C. We need a special symbol for process. Okay, looks like a rectangle, that's the process.
So read, uh, you can type um, pseudocode. Okay, very simple English sentence. Read number one, number two, number three. You can put it in one sentence, or you can say read number one, read number two, number three. You can use three sentences. I prefer to use one sentence here. And then uh, let me enlarge it so that I can actually see clearly with this in the box. Okay, um, from now on, um, I may need to move around all these shapes and then fill in the gap. So uh, it's going to take uh, for a while. Okay, please be patient. Because it's not about using tools, it's about um, get familiar with uh, processing input and outputs. And uh, then um, while you are drawing pictures, you have a clear idea what's going to be here, what's going to be next. So that it will help you to develop algorithms. And uh, focus on output, okay? Okay, uh, the last part is we need to show some sort of a sequence, flows, okay? Using arrows. Again, okay, top to bottom. So I'm going to use uh, arrow to present um, not that one. I will use the simple arrow. Okay. Present the flow from uh, top to bottom. And uh, I will continue. I think uh, pretty much that's all, okay? If you look at here, um, we have um, the flow shots. Uh, I think there was a typo, so I fixed it. Okay, there was a number underscore two. And then you can zoom, enlarge it if you want to. Usually I do that. I think I should do that at the beginning. Okay. So we know that program design, um, for example, problem statement. With uh, add three numbers as an example. And uh, we have the three components, input, process, and output. Then we have to deal with uh, multiple operator. And we also talk about operands between operator. Operands usually represent as a variable, like A, B, C. That uh, stands for numbers. Or we can say stands for certain values, like uh, numeric values here, like 10, 20, 30. Okay, we also have um, different techniques to present the solution algorithm using pseudocode. Um, what we call it as a structural English like sentence to present a uh, programming structure or program techniques.
Okay, we have a problem statement, same example. Start with the program name and present the uh, input. And then we present the process. We also present uh, output. Then we make sure we end program. Then we are talking about uh, flow chart. So that's another technique to visualize um, solution algorithm. For flow chart, we had uh, special symbols. Then uh, last one is again the process is there um, some number one number two number three and then we want to make sure that uh, program ends okay okay next step um, I'm going to cover actual coding into uh, a specific uh, programming language. I may use uh, Java programming language. So idea is uh, once we have a problem solutions using a pseudocode or flowcharts, and easily um, translate to a specific programming language. So we focus on uh, the first one, okay, as three numbers, we name our program. Uh, Java has a specific name called class, or every Java program has uh, at least one program called class. So we use as three numbers with a space. That's the Java programming language convention for class name. You can consider this a program name. And then with this in the program, we start with the curly blankets. We can consider last one as an end. Last uh, curly blanket as an end. If you look at your flowchart. And then double slash means it's actually comments. It's a part of a program. But it doesn't not recognize as a instructions. Okay, the comments may be useful for you or for me. So just try to explain what it is. That's, that's all. Then every program need to have at least one main method. Uh, it, it means that um, your program need to say which. Um, Instruction has to start with, so we create a main. Okay, don't worry about the syntax here at the moment. We just say uh, we have a main method or so operations. That's the starting point of your program. Now here we can add three components: input, process, and then output. Okay. Again, double slash means. Uh, single line comments okay so i'll put the comments process and then output this might be a good idea at the beginning if you are not familiar with the programming language so let me uh, declare three inputs integer data type called int in java uh, variable name number one, basically saying uh, memory locations assigned with the 10 default value. I will do uh, number two. After number one, okay. So say uh, integer value is stored into variable called number one. Okay, uh, I will put in two lines. 
so that will be a lot easy to lead okay okay let me declare a second variable called number two so that we can store uh, number 20 and then I will create another variable called uh, number 3 with a uh, default value sorry Okay, at this point, we declare three inputs in uh, Java programming language. So now we focus on, next one we will focus on process. Okay, just look at the flowcharts. So process has one statement, sum. It's uh, almost identical, but again, uh, the convention is when you say uh, number one plus number two uh, number three uh, every statement in java programming you have to end with a semicolon okay and after you calculate it you may like to save it on other memory location called sum before that you need to declare locations memory locations so int no sum and then we can assign the calculation using assignments equal sign so answer 60 will be uh, stored to sum or i can say sum reports to 60. now we focus on output java is a specific uh, syntax called system part of the system dealing with output device out and then method name called print and then we can uh, put it inside the parenthesis uh, can say system dot out dot print that's the end of a program okay in uh, if you want to use java this one I'm going to cover next few weeks. And then you can save it. Okay. So I copy. Save it as add three numbers to Java. File extension is Java again your file name should be same as your class name again okay so once you save your source code again all source code should be compiled into a machine code this is the syntax in java Okay, Java C stands for Java Compiler. Then you can type the name of the source code. Add three numbers to Java. Let me explain uh, here in written form so that you can read it later on. Okay. Then you can uh, run your Java program using uh, Java and then name of your program with the extension. Okay, let me explain here again. Machine code in Java we call it a byte code. It can be uh, ejected by Java comments. Then output may appear on your console, or you can say your monitor.
Okay, once you allow it, you, you should be able to 60. Okay, now let me quickly demonstrate for you. Okay, let me go through one by one before I uh, demonstrate. So I put number one, when you have a problem statement, you come up with the uh, input process output components. It's a part of the program design. You may need to use operators. Um, then you may have operands like A, B, C. And then it depends on how you declare. You can say A, B, C or number one, two, three. And then um, you may use it between operator as a operand and uh, as a solution algorithm we use the pseudo code to present a solution algorithm Okay, so this algorithm was presented with the pseudocode. We also present the solution algorithm with the flowcharts, as you can see left hand side. Then uh, we code um, solution algorithm into specific programming language, in this case Java programming language. So here is the source code, okay. So let me copy and save it as uh, S3 numbers.java, compile it, load it. So then let me quickly demonstrate for you. Okay, save it new. I'll put it uh, C drive on the Java directory. Um, with the command line, I will say, okay, let me change the directory. So on the Java, so here is the program, source code, Java C, add three numbers to Java. Again, compile source code into machine code. Then you can load your program. Here is the output 60. Again, the idea was not um, teach you how to do Java programming at this point. Quickly demonstrate how the solution algorithm can be translated into a specific programming language, like a Java programming language. So if you are not familiar with it, it's okay. We will cover it eventually. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you.